Good evening, viewers. You're watching across the Republic with me, Rakta Mishra. I'm here with you this Sunday evening with another power packed uh, ground reports from across the country. Viewers, first up, the big story of the day that we are tracking blast outside a CRPF school in uh, Delhi's Rohini. We'll get you ground reports on that and all the angles that are being probed on and the politics that is raging on that. Next up will be what's happening in West Bengal. Mamata versus doctors. The face off continues. We'll get you a lowdown of that and also what's happening uh, in the Indi Alliance camp ahead of the assembly elections in Jharkhand. There's another rift that is brewing in once again in the Indi camp. First up the headlines at 6 p.m. MHA seeks report in the school blast in New Delhi. After unrelenting fight from the doctors demanding justice for Abaya, Mamata Banerjee agrees to meet the doctors, in fact reaches out and says she is ready to meet them at Nabonno. Cracks appear in India Alliance ahead of Jharkhand election. The RJD cries foul over seat sharing. Belagavi Sambra Airport gets a threat mail. IP address traced to Chennai. Case filed. Seven injured in clashes between locals and alleged bovine smugglers in Jammu Sohanjna. And speeding bus collides with a tempo in Rajasthan's Dolpur leaves 12 dead. A deafening blast was reported outside a CRPF school in Prashant Vihar area of Rohini in New Delhi on Sunday. And according to sources, a PCR call was received this morning with the caller informing that a loud explosion was heard outside the school in Rohini. And responding to the call, a police team reached the spot to find out, uh, uh, in fact, that the school boundary wall was damaged. No casualties have been reported. Teams from Delhi Police Special Cell and the NSG as well were at the spot to check the leads. Here's a report on that. A deafening blast filled the morning air outside a CRPF school in the national capital on Sunday, sending locals and passerbys into panic. According to sources, a PCR call was received at 7.47 hours with the caller reporting a loud explosion outside the school at Prashant Vihar in the Sector 14 area of Rohiri. The initial responders a police team led by the SHO arrived at the spot to find a portion of the school's boundary wall damaged. They also sensed a foul smell filling the air. Teams from Delhi Police Special Branch and the NSG soon arrived at the spot and launched a search where the blast was reported. Visuals showed sniffer dogs being pressed into service to check for leads. It is understood that the area where the blast took place is home to certain intelligence and defence units belonging to the Indian Army. Meanwhile, Delhi Chief Minister Atishi sought to wash her hands off the incident, saying that law and order in the national capital was in the domain of the centre. A case was registered under the Explosives Act, while the Ministry of Home Affairs has sought a detailed report on the incident. According to sources, privy to the ongoing probe, the police were examining footage from CCTV cameras within a radius of 500 metres, while some officials of the military intelligence were also at the spot. 
I'm right now reporting from Prashant Vihar area in northwest Delhi, and uh, this is the boundary of CRPF school. Now, over here at around 7:50 a.m. today on Sunday morning, there was a kind of a low intensity blast. The repercussions of which was also felt over here at the shops nearby. You can see that how some of the glasses, because of this low intensity blast got shattered there is now an investigation uh, also which is being done and you can see that there are officials over here of not only uh, the delhi police but also a, a crime team uh, of the delhi police uh, and also along with them a forensic science laboratory official that have come over here to ascertain that what exactly may have resulted in this low intensity blast even as the security forces hunt for leads delhi police did not rule out a terror angle in this low intensity blast as the deadlock over the 10 point charter charter of the demands persisted and the ongoing fast on to death of the junior doctors entered the 16th straight day chief minister mamata banerjee of bengal invited them to nabonno for talks on monday now the protesting doctors have responded positively to chief minister's offer of a sit down but refused to call off their hunger strike and even as mamata extends a fresh olive branch to the fasting doctors a few of them hit out at her for holding a gilded pujo carnival even as As they put their lives on the line here's a report raising hopes of a breakthrough even as the deadlock persisted over their 10 point demands chief minister mamta banerji finally invited to the fasting junior doctors for talks the protesting junior doctors put out a statement confirming that the chief minister invited them for a sit down at nabonno on monday However the chief minister urged the doctors to call off their fast on to death and return to work the latter vowed to shoulder on Meanwhile as the stalemate continued a protesting junior doctor said most of them have returned to their duties while a few continue to sit on an indefinite fast until all their demands are met Earlier on Saturday chief secretary Manoj Pant visited the site of the hunger strike in central kolkata's esplanade the doctors were seen having a telephone conversation with mamta in the chief secretary's presence in an attempt to break the ice even as the chief minister signaled a climb down of sorts a section of the fasting doctors came down heavily on her for holding a pujo carnival while they put their lives on the line amader shorirer upor dari apni carnival korechen er pore sorota tar uttor debe Meanwhile, sitting TMC MLA Tapas Chatterjee kicked up a massive row after he trivialized the doctor's protest, calling it a BJP left movement. TMC MLAs and TMC leaders are speaking what their leader is telling them to. In fact, yesterday we saw Mamta Banerjee was speaking to the doctors on phone, and one of her statement was, "Please rise beyond politics." and join back work so she clearly meant that the doctors are doing politics by uh, doing this whole protest and taking part in this protest movement so as per what mamta banerjee yesterday meant or insinuated today the uh, uh, tmc mla tapos uh, uh, of uh, uh, salt lake bidhanagar area he has pointed out that the junior doctors are actually like a political party politicizing the whole issue what they have is political ideology and political goals and they are not really protesting to demand justice and as the anticipation builds around monday's meeting the key question is will the ice finally melt Amid a widening drift in the opposition Mahavikas Agadi alliance in Maharashtra over the allocation of seats for the ensuing assembly elections now cracks have opened up in the ruling grand alliance in Jharkhand now after senior RJD MLA Manoj Jha came out strongly came out heavily over the seat allotments in the state now the grand alliance earlier the uh, uh, the seat sharing deal for uh, a jharkhand as part of uh, which the jmm and the congress would contest 70 seats setting aside the remaining segments for the rjd and the other partners and not mincing any words was uh, manoj jha 
and uh, he had accused that there was uh, no uh, consultations that were in fact uh, uh, taken up uh, with his party adding that the RJD has identified 15 to 17 seats where it could defeat the BJP on its own steam. Here's a report. Amid mounting alliance trouble in the Mahavikas Aghari over the allocation of seats for the upcoming Maharashtra Assembly polls, a similar crisis has now gripped the ruling Indi partners in Jharkhand. Coming out openly against his partners in the ruling Grand Alliance in Jharkhand, senior RJD MP Manoj Jha voiced his dissent over the allotment of seats in the poll-bound state. Speaking to reporters in Jharkhand on Sunday, the RJD leader claimed no prior consultations were held with the party before the seat deal was locked and announced. meeting ये तय पाया गया कि ताकत जो वोट की है जनाधार की है वो राजद के पक्ष में हमें दुख के साथ कहना पड़ता है कि यूनिलैटरल फैसला लिया गया कि आपको फलाने नंबर ऑफ सीट का ऑफर दिया जा रहा है ये ना राजद की ऐतिहासिक ताकत के अनुरूप है ना समकालीन जो परिस्थितियां हैं उसके अनुरूप है Grand Alliance earlier announced seat-sharing deal for Jharkhand as part of which the Jharkhand Mukti Morcha and the Congress would contest 70 seats, setting aside the remaining 11 for the RJD and other alliance partners. Jha claimed that his party had identified 15 to 17 seats where it could potentially defeat the BJP in a direct contest. आज हमने पूरी जो मीटिंग की है उसमें हम लोगों ने 15 से 18 ऐसी सीटें चिन्हित की हैं चिन्हित की हैं अलग-अलग जिलों की जहां हम शायद अकेले भी बीजेपी को परास्त करने में सक्षम हैं उसके अनुरूप उम्मीद की जानी चाहिए थी कि आप कोई भी चीजें प्रक्रिया धीन करने से पूर्व कंसल्टेशन के प्रोसेस को the descending notes from the RJD compounded the woes for the Indy amid the mounting dissonance in the MVA over the share of seats and a consensus CM candidate. Wasting little time to take a jive at Indy, the BJP said it neither has any mission nor vision for the pole-bound states and were only in the race to advance their selfish interests and indulge in corruption. आरजेडी के प्रोफेसर मनोज झा ने आकर दर्द जो बयां किया है और कहा है कि हम तो अकेले ही लड़ सकते हैं यह हमारी ताकत के अनुरूप नहीं है हमारे से पूछा भी नहीं गया यूनिलैटरली अनाउंस हो गया यही मैं कह रहा हूं कि इंडी अलायंस नो मिशन नो विजन चाहे महाराष्ट्र हो चाहे झारखंड हो चाहे जम्मू कश्मीर हो चाहे पंजाब हो चाहे हरियाणा हो चाहे केरल हो जहां पर प्रियंका जी के सामने लेफ्ट के पार्टी का कैंडिडेट वायनाड से लड़ेगा with Jharkhand elections round the corner, it seems that the Indi alliance patch-up or kind of alliance which was there seems to be breaking up. In the latest uh, report that is coming in, there seems to be now a breakup which seems to be on cards between the Jharkhand Mukti Mocha and the Rashtriya Janta Dal. In fact, there is now reports that uh, with this breakup which is imminent, the Rashtriya Janta Dal might not uh, cooperate with uh, Jhagan Mukti Mocha in the upcoming elections and will contest the upcoming assembly elections on its own. Having said that, however, they want to make a project that all is well within the India Alliance and uh, the senior uh, members of the Rashtriya Janata Dal today said that even though they might contest the elections of Jhagan on their own terms, there is a possibility that uh, they will support the candidates of Jhagan Mukti Mocha. Clearly upset with the unilateral seat allotments in Jharkhand, could the RJD now be going alone in the assembly elections? 
Now, a bomb threat was issued to Belagavi Sambra Airport in Karnataka through an email sent to the airport director, Tyagraj, with a threat originating from Chennai. And following the alarming message, security was tightened at the airport with the dog squads and bomb squads rushed to the uh, spot. And airport director, Tyagraj, has had registered a case at the police station. In fact, we was later on, uh, the Kempegora airport also received a false bomb threat. We'll get you all the latest in this report. After several threats to flights on domestic and international routes have caused great concern, now Belagavi's airport was issued a threat. The Sambra airport received a threat mail. Threat mail was sent to airport director Thyagraj. The IP address of the system that sent the email was tracked. It was routed to Chennai. Yesterday and today, uh, Belgavi Airport, through its official email ID, has received uh, two threat mails. These threat mails have uh, have been sent out in a in an intention to create fear and panic amongst public. So, in light of these threat messages, uh, Belgavi City Police, along with the industrial security force of the Karnataka state, uh, along with our uh, bomb squad and our uh, our uh, dog squad and all our uh, security teams, have checked the airport numerous times yesterday as well as today and all the nook and corner of the airport has been checked and no such uh, threat has been found to be true. However, no information on who wrote the mail has been found as of now. Security was heightened at the airport following the threat. Bomb squad and dog squad were rushed. Thorough checks are being conducted at the airport but nothing suspicious has been found so far. While the email is learnt to be a hoax one, a case has been registered at the Murray Hall Police Station. Investigation into the case is currently underway. A clash has broke out in Jammu's Sohanjana area of Satwari between the locals and the alleged bovine smugglers. Now, seven people have been injured in these clashes. Locals allege that the smugglers have weapons and police say that no weapons have been recovered so far. Watch this Republic's exclusive ground report. At Sohanjana area of Satwari in Jammu, clashes broke out between alleged bovine smugglers and the locals. Locals alleged that the bovines were being smuggled in the vehicles midnight. Two FIRs have been registered by Jammu Kashmir police, one over bovine smuggling and the other over clashes. Police suspect that the stones were pelted from both the sides in the clashes. We had information here that there was alleged bovine smuggling here, which is why the emotions are flared up in the communities. We got this information first, first of all, bovine smuggling FIR was registered and after that, the spot was reached there. We saw that the situation was there, that there was a lot of pain on both sides, and there was a lot of pain. They were filled with a lot of emotions. So, we called an extra nafri. I got to the spot on the spot. We got to the SHO on the spot. We got to the spot on the spot. We got to the spot on the spot. लेकिन उसके बावजूद रात के अंधेरे के चलते शराती तत्वों के कारण दोनों तरफ से एक स्कफल एनसीयू हो गया। Seven people were injured. Republic spoke to the locals. They say that the smugglers have weapons and demand a law against cow slaughtering. जैसे कि हमारे भाई यहाँ पे रात को पस्ती थे, देखा गया यहाँ पे गोतस्करी का मामला आया गया। लड़कों ने वहाँ पे रोकने की कोशिश की लेकिन हुआ क्या बदले में वहाँ पे उनके ऊपर फायरिंग की गई उनके ऊपर पत्राव हुआ और गंभीर रूप से हमारे लड़के वहाँ पे घायल हुए हैं वजूर्ग भी थे उसमें और जैसे कि मकवाल के हमारे एक भाई हैं वो गंभीर रूप से अभी उनकी स्थिति बड़ी क्रिटिकल सिचुएशन वहाँ पर चल रही है यानी इस गो तस्करी के ऊपर मैं बात करूँ ये चीज़ पहले से नहीं बड़ी पहले से होती आ रही है इससे पहले बख्शी नगर में भी हुआ कश्मीर में भी बड़े सारे केसेज ऐसे देखने को आए अब ये चीज़ें जम्मू में भी शरेआम होने लग गई हैं पुलिस आर सस्पेक्टिंग द रोल ऑफ आउटसाइडर्स इन द इंसिडेंट However, they say that the use of weapons has not been found so far. Raids were held to nab the agitators. Seven people have been injured in the clashes that broke out between the locals and alleged bovine smugglers in the Sohanjana area of Satwari area of Jammu late last night. The incident was reported when the police was informed of the bovine smuggling taking place. 
now the entire area has been barricaded and the point where the clashes have taken place has now been barred the police has been deployed in the large numbers here and also the attempts are being made to ensure that the locals uh, are also pacified on the situation investigation into the matter is underway Welcome back. Now, in a major accident, a speeding bus collided with a tempo in Rajasthan's Dolpur, leaving 12 people dead. And according to sources, there were as many as eight children among the deceased. And it is understood that the speedy sleeper a coach bus was bound for Jaipur from Gwalior when it collided with the tempo at the top speed. Here's a report. In a horrific accident, a speeding bus collided into a tempo in Rajasthan's Dolpur, leaving 12 people dead. According to sources, the deceased include as many as eight children. Reports said that the sleeper coach bus was headed to Jaipur from Gwalior in neighboring Madhya Pradesh when it collided with the tempo at top speed. Visuals showed that the front portion of the bus was badly dented and its windshield busted while the tempo was reduced to a wreckage. Further, according to the police officials, those traveling in the tempo were natives of the Gumat neighborhood of the Bari city. Reports said that the Tempo riders were on their way back home after attending a function at Baroli village when they met with the horrific accident on National Highway 11B near Sunipur village. Heart-wrenching visuals showed the bodies lying at the mortuary of the Bari hospital. राजस्थान के धौलपुर में एक भीषण सड़क हादसे में 12 लोगों की मौत हो गई है बस और टेम्पो की इस भिड़ंत में 12 लोगों की मौत होने के बाद एसपी और कलेक्टर मौके पर पहुंचे हैं और उनकी पहचान की जा रही है इसके साथ साथ ही इस बड़े हादसे पर देश के प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी ने भी संवेदनाएं व्यक्त की हैं उधर केंद्रीय मंत्री गजेंद्र सिंह शेखावत स्वास्थ्य मंत्री गजेंद्र सिंह खीवसर प्रधानमंत्री के साथ साथ मुख्यमंत्री भजन लाल शर्मा समेत डिप्टी सीएम प्रेमचंद बैरवा ने भी संवेदनाएं व्यक्त की हैं उधर घायलों का इलाज बाड़ी अस्पताल में चल रहा है तो दूसरी तरफ मृतकों की पहचान करने में प्रशासन जुटा हुआ है मीन वाइल प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी एक्सप्रेस डिजांग्विश ओवर द डेथ्स एंड अनाउंस इन एक्सक्रेशिया ऑफ रुपीज टू लाख ईच फॉर द नेक्स्ट ऑफ किन ऑफ द डिसीज एंड रुपीज फिफ्टी थाउजेंड ईच टू द इंजर्ड Rajasthan CM Bajwan Lal Sharma also condoled the loss of lives in the accident while informing that he directed the local administration to ensure proper and time bound treatment of the injured. And it's uh, another story of success for the security forces amid the continuing crackdown on terror in the valley. A joint team of the Indian Army and the Jammu and Kashmir Police foiled a major infiltration bid in the Uri sector, Baramulla. Now, official statement uh, tells us that the joint operation was launched uh, after the forces received an in intel input about suspicious movements in the Kamal Kot area of Uri. While one infiltrator was neutralized by the security forces, the operation was going on till the last. Uh, take a look at this report. A major infiltration bid was foiled in Jammu and Kashmir after the joint forces neutralized an intruder in the Uri sector of Baramulla. According to an official post, a joint team of the army and Jammu and Kashmir police launched an operation after receiving an input about suspicious movement. The forces received information that suspected intruders were spotted in the Kamal Kot area of the Uri sector. The Chinar Corps of the Indian Army posted on its handle on X that the intruders opened indiscriminate fire on being challenged. The forces gunned down an intruder in retaliatory fire and the operation was still in progress till last reports. According to the intelligence agencies, there is an attempt to push terrorists across the border from multiple launch pads in Pakistan occupied Jammu Kashmir before winter sets in. Infiltration bid foiled by Indian army along the line of control in Baramulla North Kashmir. One Pakistani terrorist has been neutralized. Also, dead body along with arms and ammunition has been recovered. This operation started yesterday evening when the infiltrator uh, fired upon the, these allowed troops and uh, then they retaliated. This gunfight continued for some time and one dead body now has been recovered. See, we see these kind of actions at a time when the winter is approaching and these uh, passes will be covered with snow. In the coming weeks, it becomes difficult then to sneak in. So Pakistan army, along with these infiltrators and the ISI, they try the best to push as many as infiltrators inside the Indian territory. However, the armed forces remain firm in their resolve to foil all attempts by terrorists to disrupt peace and progress in the Kashmir Valley.